What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 20.3 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for today's episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. Leave any comments you have for me in the comment section, and please share this video with anybody you think might like it. These things are very, very helpful. Now, let's get into things here. Cut off from outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. It must. There's a small key in our mailbox. We expected that, though. Now. We shall take a off. And... I suppose, yeah, that makes most sense to me. Now, which mystery shall we investigate? I say... This one. The Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Macabre Memoir of Morbid Mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind has snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. They do sound unfortunate. Um, should we just go straight to the seaside? Get that out of the way. City docks. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town center. I will pray at the temple. It doesn't matter if you believe or not, the smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Plus two reason. Hell yeah. There's one thing everyone at this school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the, pe the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. I would, but I'm going to go to the seaside first. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. It's the Drowner Sponge, and it needs another body now. All right. 28 HP. Um. Now. Let's see. Hmm. Let's give that a shot. Okay, we did a good amount. Um, now all we need to do is 12. We can easily do that. There. Kaboom, baby. Defeated the Drowner Sponge. Oh, we lose one reason, but we did level up. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Also, we got the uh, thorough investigation condition. Yakuza card, quick thinking, or folklore studies. Hmm. I think I'll go with Folklore Studies and Strength. To the downtown location with us. Gruesome Altar. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Research Occult Notes. Failure. Fuck. Reading the ramblings of a madman has made you sick. Minus two reason. That ain't good. Um, I need some funds. That's what I need. Hey, look at that. Um, what are we on? Third one. I guess I'll give one more peace of mind. Not too worried about that this time. 
Mm. I wish that was not that. Fuck. Take the empty bottle, that's not bad. Could be worse. Um... Back to the school. There was a hole here. Uh, hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Study the writing on the blackboard. You decipher the occult instructions and get... And let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Minus two reason, two stamina, plus spell. Shit. Ooh. Damn, that's really good. I'm going home for real, real quick. All right. A nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attacks. Attack the windows. Minus one stamina, minus one reason. Okay. Um... World of Terror. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around, as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Follow the weird man. Perception check success. The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens, and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists sure is embarrassing, but deep inside you're relieved. Minus 2% do. I am indeed relieved. Let's go downtown. There's something wrong here. A weird apathy seems to infect every adult you ask for help. You will have to deal with it alone. Alright. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty, yes. This is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty-looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Yeah, I mind. Tremendously. Um... Hmm. Um... So that'll be 14 damage. Okay. Fine. She can't kill me now. And I don't care about the rest. Wait, what's that? Lucky earrings. Ooh. Plus two luck. Hmm. That could be good, but I don't really want that. Because I'd rather have the compass and get more experience. I guess I'm going to trade it in. You compare the sewer plan with the school map and it suddenly dawns on you. School basement. This must That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping missing swimmers. Could be. Probably is. Ritsuko-chan was the most promising athlete in the school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today... She's finally dug herself out. In a very literal sense, huh? Um, she has 15 HP. Can I kill her? Yes! Yes! Thank you. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's all right. All right. 
You bust through the door to the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, the upper part at least. A tail of fish has been crudely a tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks you up and down. Maybe you'll do. I'm gonna notice his face. Whoa. I I'm so lonely. He stammers, taking a step forward. For years I've dealt with this void inside of me. Another step forward. Each night I dream about a city underwater. I realize uh, that's where I truly belong. And another. Let me take you there. <laughs> Send an ally instead. You push your surprised ally right into the embracing arms of the janitor. Jesus Christ, this guy looks crazy. Before you can say anything, the fisherman... The fisherman opened his mouth, revealing two rows of sharp, shark-like teeth. He bites your follower in the neck, almost decapitating them. In the process, you're too shocked to do anything. This will do, he says, smiling and opening up the manhole. For now. Oh, I killed the hermit on accident. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. Sorry, Hermie. What was that talk about the underwater city just a- Was that talk about the underwater city just an excuse or a crazed serial killer? Or did the janitor really believe in the mermaid city located somewhere deep under the waves? I don't even know. Whatever the case, you really should see a dermatologist about your skin allergy. With each day, it starts to look more and more like fish scales. Did I get it? Like a... That's weird. Ending E. I'm pretty sure that's new. 30 experience, 15 experience, 3%, minus 3 doom, plus 1 day. Alright. Oh, man. So close. Powerful people. We are damn near dead. I've never seen that ending of that mystery, which is pretty cool. And, uh, we made it. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please, uh, like this video. Um, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. Leave any comments you have for me in the comment section and share this video with anybody you think might like it. That would very much help me. Um, in the next episode, powerful people, we will investigate our fourth mystery of the run. But of course, that will have to wait until next time, powerful people. In the meantime, my name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, peace, and love.